Here are the Hawaiian Shell FCU starting lineup for Long Beach State against Hawaii. Long Beach State will serve, and serving will be T.J. DeFalco. Only a freshman, but blessed with talent as far as volleyball is concerned. And we're underway. Franciscovich, that was uh, to Maul, but Maul was just blocked. I mean, they threw up a wall in front of him. It's a great serve by Taylor Gregory as well. He's got the little jump float hybrid spin. One of the better servers on the team. The ball pushed over that time by John Tilburg. And it's a point for Hawaii. We see if Jenny Franciscovich will serve down the line to number 11, TJ DeFalco. It can work. Oh, good pass. Falco with a good pass right up to the line, and that ball is set over by Ensing. And the ball is mishit in the back row that time for Hawaii, and that's a point for Long Beach State. Long Beach State, a very young team, but a very talented team. And Hawaii has got to start well and play well for a long period of time. Falco serving. Franciscovich, ball is just pushed over by Faye. The ball blocked back. Ball was there. In the back row, Faye. Franciscovich goes cross court. That ball is hit and then dug up in the back row nicely by Hughes. Ball comes over and it is long. A rare error from DeFalco. He's hitting 303 on the year, so you don't see him. Hit, hit out that often. That time he was, that was an avoidance attack, trying to get a little tool on the outside blocker's hands. C.K. Zarkovich will serve for Hawaii. He's the floor captain. That ball dug up by Hughes. Ball is hit over by Enzing, Franciscovich, and Maul. The bespeckled one gets it over and Henry down. Henrik Mull playing with basically one eye's worth of vision after a contact lens infection last spring. He's been battling he almost uh, retired medically over the summer. It's just uh, really inspiring to see him out here playing. Sarkovic will serve again. Hawaii leads by one. Ball dug up by Sato. And hit over and down that time by Yule. Bryce Yule. 6-4 out of Laguna Niguel, California. You might want to call him an undersized middle at 6-4, but let me tell you something. He plays like he's 6-7. Really quick arm. Played the UC USA Youth National Team and Junior National Team for three years, so he's got a lot of credentials. The Falco serving. And that ball hit over by Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg. And Hawaii leads 4-3. Hawaii is any one player who needs to step up the game, I'd say it'd be Van Tilburg. Because of the fact that he struggled a bit on the road. He would love to regain his early season form. Maul serving. The ball hit over. And then blocked up. Good double block that time by Hawaii. Van Tilburg waiting for his twin Ninga. And the ball is hit over by Yule. Oh, what a set from Tua Ninga. Up from the eight foot line, he fires it to Yule. And with a guy who jumps that quickly with that fast and arm swing, easy kind of play. Tough for the blockers to read, though. It look, looks like it's going to go to the outside. Bryce Yule will serve for Long Beach State. That's an ace. Just inside the line. Faye was peering at it, but that's all he could do. Five four, Long Beach State. First set into the net by Yule, and we are tied at five in the first set. This is the kind of match where you have to really settle in. It may last quite a while. And Tilburg serving, and that is long. 
<laughs> Just missed. He tried for the right part of the court, though. If you're going to hit one high and deep, you want to go for the area one, which is the opposite part of the court from where Ben Tilburg served from. More room for error. Here's Ensing into the net. Trading errors. It was close, but it was out. That serve by Van Tilburg did not miss by much. Here's Fay. The funnel Fay, well served. The ball hit over that time by DeFalco. Whistle blows. And it's a violation on Hawaii. Charlie Wade comes over to Wayne Lee, the floor official. Just ask for what number committed the blocking violation. I think it was Ian McKellar. Kamitake able to get it up. And then Tilburg following the, of the save. And the set by Franciscovich gets it down. What a play. See this ball goes inside the antenna. Close call here. Yep, looks like it did. So Coach Knight was up that time. Questioning the angle. And we were tied at seven. Ball blocked by Mole, off the hit by Gregory, and the ball goes out. Taylor Gregory, what a career he's had at Long Beach State. Pretty amazing. He started off this year, by the way, with 62, count them, 62 errorless swings. I mean, his first error was like in January 23rd or something. That's when they had to change the batteries. There you go. There's Gregory into the net. So. A bit of jitters by the number one team in the nation. We're tied at eight. Franciscovich to serve. The ball shanked to the side, saved over there by Tui Ninga. There's Panitaki. Mall, let's block back. Nobody in the back row for Hawaii. What a great block by Bryce Gould that time. He leads them in blocking with 41 blocks. He's actually tied with Gregory. With plays like that, just sticks one arm out. What an athletic move by the 6'4 junior from Laguna Niguel. Tuininga to serve. Not only talking, Franciscovich, the ball put over by Maul. Advantage now. Long Beach State, big hit. And let's see. Bufalco was there, got it to the floor. And it's going to be a point for Long Beach State. The number one official tonight is Donna Hess out of the MPSF. Tui Ninga. Tali Taki. And far hit over by Zakovic. Went off the block and down. Sinky Barks, but Zarkov is just so cagey. Ball ball IQ is so high. Just knows how hard to hit it, where to hit it. Zarkovic again serving. Dug up by Sato. The ball just pushed over. Saved by Tui Ninga. They go cross court. Ball is hit over by Ensing. Away he responds. A little touch, good save by Ensing. Ball comes over, waiting for it. Franciscovic. And then the hit by Faye. Not really a good set, but Faye did the best he could, and it turned out to be positive. Boy, pretty patient in that rally. Capone Faye did not get the great set he liked in the first set. The second one he got was pretty good on the line there, and he tooled the end line walker's hands and got, it, got the kill. He's been hot of late. We're tied at 10. There's been nine ties. And that long serve that time by Zarkovic makes it 11-10 in the first set for Long Beach State. Serving for Long Beach State is T.J. DeFalco. Number one recruit in the country last year. Out of Huntington Beach, California. Serves it down the middle. Tani Taki. Tani Taki with an overpass and that ball hammered down by Lewis. 
12-10. Long Beach State leads by two in the first set. Moves of libero in 2015. Now it's changed over to the outside. A nice tap down there. A beautiful serve by T.J. DeFalco. DeFalco puts it into the net. Oh, a slew of serving errors. Four service errors now by Long Beach State. Two by Hawaii. Here's Hendrick Moll. He serves up by DeFalco. Toiniga. Ball is hit over. Ricochets around and the ball put over. That time by McKellar just into the game. And then the hit from the corner at that time by Ensing. 13-10. Two-point lead for Long Beach State in the first set. Good swing by Ensing. He started 14 out of 15 matches. He's leading the team in digs so far with over two digs per set. Serving its yield. Chase down Franciscovich. Ball is hit over by Faye. That's returned. Tani Tapi puts it in the air. Franciscovich. Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg hits that one off of Yule. Great little scramble play by Hawaii that time. Franciscovich got kind of tangled up with his feet. But he's got such great hands. He managed to put up a side set high one to Van Tilburg that he just went over the block and down. It's time Van Tilburg. Sato, put over by DeFalco. Francisco is tries the sneaker. That's a block back. It goes to Tani, to Tani Taki. And then Franciscovich gets it back and rips it for the point. Hawaii playing some pretty good defense so far. Hanging with the number one defensive team in the country. Hawaii yeah. State leads the country in digs per set. Now we are tied for the 10th time. Make it... Uh, that broke it with that service error by Van Tilburg. Ensing will go back to serve now for Long Beach State. The ball pushed over by Faye, blocked back Faye with the save. Tane Take. A little bit by Van Tilburg, diving, saved by Sato. Van Tilburg, San Franciscovich, and then going cross court that time, but out is Faye. So it is 15 13. Let's take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match. Well, for Long Beach State, will there be a seventh manifest? Will the Stan Sheriff Center fans have an effect on this fairly young? Long Beach State team, well, we don't know because tonight the Wednesday night crowd isn't that big. I think Friday night will be double this size. And for Hawaii, they're fresh as, not Davies, uh, uh, should be fresh as Daisies there. And uh, they've got an eight-day layoff. They should result in some recharged batteries and live arms and legs. We'll see what happens. And yeah, it's been close here in the first set, 15 to 13, Long Beach State. Serving as Ensing, Kyle Ensing. He's from Valencia, California. Goes over the tape. Hawaii to return it. There's Faye. Hit into the air. Sato beats to Ninga. Ball is hit over by Ensing. Saved by Zakovic in the back row. Franciscovic. And that ball is hit over and blocked out. Good hit by Van Tilburg. Looks like Stein Van Tilburg has come out of his slump a little bit here. Five kills and eight tries. Leading all players on the court, both sides, hitting over 600. Hawaii looking to tie. 14 serving 15, but another service error by Tufano Fay. Back to a two-point lead for Long Beach State. Serving for Long Beach State will be who? Who's from Norway? Serves it in the air by Kamitake. The ball balances, balances on the on the top of the tape and then rolls over, hits the antenna. And that's a point for Hawaii. This is ball goes off. TJ DeFalco off his head there, goes into the antenna. This gives Ian McKellar his first kill.
into the net. Joe Worsley just into the game. And another service error. Both teams have just had trouble with the net. Right now, five service errors. Taylor Gregory will serve now for Long Beach State. 49ers, the school actually founded in 1949. That ball rolls over the tape and comes down. Diving dig a little late by Franciscovich. So 18-15, this is the biggest lead of this first set for think, Long Beach State. And I don't think Charlie Wade will let it get too much further than three points difference between the two teams before he uses his first timeout. Ball hit it from the side by Zakovic. That's returned. Chased down by Franciscovic. Zakovic again, that's blocked. Kanetaki with the save. Hit by Franciscovic. That's blocked. They go to Van Tilburg, and Van Tilburg ends it. Van Tilburg just, I mean, he hit a bullet, and that went off of Ensign. I love the way that Francisco goes up as if he's going to hit. He takes a blocker with him, leaving Van Tilburg with only one block. That's a hitter's delight. Give a lot of credit there to Franciscovich in his ballet-like setting. Franciscovich to serve. Gets it in. That ball hit over by DeFalco. That was one on one. And that um, went off Van Tilburg. That is a good matchup between DeFalco and Van Tilburg. Yeah, yeah it's a nice little matchup there. DeFalco just, he just got a whip of an arm. He's not really built strongly up top. But boy, his arm so fast. Tweeninga serving left handed. There's Zakovic. That's blocked back. Zakovic cannot chase it. It went off of Franciscovic. And that's another point. That's another point there for San, rather uh, for Long Beach State. Take a look at the Jack Fat getting into the swing of things. Hawaii Junior outside hitter. Kapono Fei had 65 kills and hit 346. And the Buzz four match road trip last week in the first 11 matches. He totaled just 65 kills while hitting 182. How about that for a little check, Lynn Hyde? Welcome to success. Capone's <laughs> <laughs> playing some great volleyball right now. A lot of confidence. Josh Tuininga will serve. 20 to 16. Franciscovich. Sets up on Tilburg, but they were waiting for him because right there was Yule. Yule in front. And it's now 21 to 16. And you notice that Long Beach State has elongated their lead and taken control at just the right time. Bryce Yule, one of 10 Fab 50 players on this team out of the 14 players that they brought. They're loaded. A lot of Southern California talent for the most part. Tuininga serving again. Another service ever. So that stops the Long Beach State run. Tuininga's brother, Gus, used to play for the men's team at the University of Hawaii. Sarkovic serving. Ball comes over. Kane Taki is there. And a good little touch by Von Tilda, but Sato with the save. Comes back over. Diving dig by Kane Taki. And then the hit by Tufano Fei is right into the defense that time of Long Beach State. This pancake dig right there by Andrew Sato. Oh boy, he's got some, some jeans. Aunt Leanne played two Olympics, and Eric, uh, Uncle Eric played two Olympics. Dad coached in one. Into the net again. Actually, I should say Dad Gary, who is at USC right now, coached in the 2012 Olympics with Alan Knight in the 88 gold with uh, Marv Dunphy. 
So Andrew Sato's got a lot of volleyball going on in his family. Falco looking seaward. And then he looked at the roof, tried to find a way out. He was embarrassed by that last error into the net. Another service error. This one by Mamani Namahoy. Just into the game for that purpose. Shakes his head as he walks on. Right now with six service errors, Long Beach State with five. 23-18. That's not an area where you want to win that, that particular stat. You're right. Yule serving. Franciscovic. And another block. So Caporno Fay, somebody's been looking at, at tape because they were up and waiting. Yeah, they were. Taylor Gregory, who he hit into right here, number 13. Two times he's been a finalist for National Blocker of the Year. Well, you can see why. And again, serving as you into the net. It is 24 to 19. Set point in set number one. Van Tilburg will serve. Away you must play perfectly for a long time. Lolly pops it over. Dreaminga, that ball is hit over, but right there. Izakovic overpass. And the ball is put down by Dan Lamek, who is just into the game number nine. So the first set goes to Long Beach State. They play evenly through the teens, but when it got to 20, it was all 49ers. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. Kaiser Permanente. And Strong. Let's take a look at Stein Van Tilburg. He's got six kills so far, more than the entire rest of the team. No other player has more than one. He's hitting well on their right side, squeezing it through the block, hitting out of the back row there, getting that kill. He's throwing another front row attack off the hand. Playing well. And for Long Beach State, Bryce Yule has been their guy, their go-to guy. He's got, he's got two kills. He's been in on five blocks, one a block solo. That one a one-armed gorilla block. And there you see his one ace. Again, another stuff block. Bryce Yule, only 6'4", probably the smallest middle blocker in the, in the uh, conference. But he is as good a blocker as there is in the conference. Plays like he's 6'8". Tell me again the most important statistic of that first uh, set. Oh, uh, Long Beach State, six blocks. Hawaii, zero blocks. Series record, Hawaii leads the series 41 to 38, the last meeting, the 25th of April last year. And it was Hawaii in three. So that Hawaii wanted to get to go to the uh, semifinals of the NPSF. So Hawaii's been able to defeat Long Beach State four straight times. Franciscovic will serve to start the second set. Hawaii down one set to none. Kuininga. And the big hit right in the middle that time by Gregory. Brings experience, size, force, stamina. He's got it all. Former USA Youth National, Junior National Team member. Great serve. I love this serve. Gregory serving. Van Tilburg. Doing a short set. There's the Falco. Good dig by Franciscovic. Again, that ball goes off Faye. Franciscovic with the save. Kanitaki gets to the cross. Tuininga, big hit. That went off and out that time. And that's a point for Long Beach State. That's just overpowering volleyball. Why well, did a pretty good job of digging those balls. They just keep coming at them. Bryce Schuller with another 
great middle attack. Gregory serving. Serves it long. You know what I like about his serve? He runs up to the line as if he's going to do a little slump serve. And at the last second, he just rips it and it becomes like a jump serve. So they call it like a hybrid. One serving two. Zakovic serves for Hawaii. Yeah, right here. That ball hit over by Yule. And that ball went off and out. Great twisting, turning set by Twininga that time. Balls passed really tight to the net. Had to turn sideways to find his middle attacker. Beautiful hands. Twininga again, three serving one. Off the top of the tape, Kanetake. That ball is hit, and that is dug up by Hughes. Whistle blows, point for Hawaii, net violation. I think they're going to call it on the ball call. Actually, I think the ball might have hit the antenna after it was dug. Not sure, but... The way, like the, the way the Falco kind of became dejected yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. Two serving three. Mole. Mole with an ace. And Rick Mole showing he's got indoor game as well as a beach game where he played for Norway and the, their national team. That's his seventh, eighth ace of the season. Mole serving again. High in the air by Sato. Twininga. That ball goes out. On the hit that time by Enzo. So Hawaii crawls into the lead. And they lead it 4 3 here in the second set. They are down one set to none. Mole to serve again. This time he took something off. And the ball didn't have enough power to get over the net. He brought two heaters. He had the, the passers backing up a little bit on their heels. So he thought, well, maybe I can loop one in. There was a little off-speed shot. Pick up an ace. Not to be. Hawaii's seventh service error. To Falco. That ball hit over by Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg hit it off the block. He get that off. Uh, Hoos, and it went out. Nice high set from Franciscovich. Van Tilburg serves. Sato Kuininga, and Yule is right there, and Yule with a very quick set. And that went through everybody. Ricochet here, ricochet there, and then you saw another Kanetake special spread out, sprawled out on the press table. If he had his way, he'd just move the table and dig it. Tied at five. Yule serving again. Faye goes cross court. Gets it back for Franciscovich, but hits it long. A tough swing, that ball is set that high from that far away in the, in the court. Long Beach State ready to block that. And Dakota Fay was just trying to hit some high hands. Just hit it too high. Left-handed by McKellar. Gets to the cross. Here's Tui Ninga. Tui Ninga sets up Ensign. And the ball goes off the he block it out. So right now, Long Beach State, I think you would agree with me, just hitting the ball a little bit harder. Yeah, they're a little crisper. In the first set, they had 10 kills, one error, hit 391. Hawaii had seven hitting errors, hit 125. Yule serving. The ball is thrown over by McKellar. What a dig by Yule. There's another shot. And that ball knocked over Kanetake. That's a four-point run now for Long Beach State here. And in set number two, they lead 8-5. Talk about power. Big Island Candies, the perfect place to find the perfect gift. Visit them at their flagship store in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or online at BigIslandCandies.com to see their amazing selection, including delicious chocolate dip shortbreads. For the latest information on UH Athletics, go to HawaiiAthletics.com for UH news, tickets, videos, and more. Follow your favorite teams and get current fan promotion. 
struggling is Yul. Ball comes over, there's Tui Ninga in the air. Ensign. Ensign goes through the double block, gets it down. Unable to get there was Zakovic in the deep corner. They swing by Ensign for two and kills per set on this team at 2.8 per set. Big State now leading nine to five. Porto Fay has been taken out, but Rosenmeyer brought in. That is long. On that serve by Yule, Sato comes in to replace him. Rosenmeyer, Brett Rosenmeyer will go back and he will serve. He's from Virginia Beach, Virginia, a freshman. Serves it, gets it over. Sato is there, Toy Minga. That ball hit by Gregory and down. Good reaction, good pass, good, good hit. Taylor Gregory just does not make many errors. Hitting 569 on the year, number one in the NPSF. This little cutback shot again. Went 62 swings before he made an error this year. Ensing serves off the net. There's Rosenmeyer. Ball is hit by Zarkovic, saved in the back row by Ensing. Zarkovic again. Zarkovic, there were three converging on him to block, and Zarkovic was able to solve it. That's a typical Zarkovic hit. Bit of a broken play there. And Siki, there's a diving save right there by uh, Van Tilburg. You see Siki, even when he has three blockers up, he somehow manages to find the hole, squeeze it through. Serving is McKellar. Ball is pushed over by Enzing. Djokovic in the air by DeFalco. They go cross court. Good block by Hawaii, but it's returned. Another block. This time, right in the middle was Gregory. And Gregory just stuffed it. I think, I think Bjorn Boos got a lot of that too. A guy who was a libero last year. Tries to go up and swing in there. I think Koos got a lot of that. He's only 6'1". He's a, somehow they converted him to a passer outside hitter. And I guess a blocker now. Who serves. Boy, he tried to come back. Another block. Going over was Rosen uh, Meyer. And they were waiting for him. And TJ Falco got most of that along with Tanner Gregory. And the blocks were piling up to Long Beach State. It is 12-7, Long Beach State in the second set into the net. Koos putting it into the net that time. So Francisco Bitch will go back and serve for Hawaii. Long Beach State winning the first set 25-19. Koos, Doiminga, ball hit over by Gregory. Trying to push it over that time is Zarkovic. It's returned. Zarkovic again in the block right there. Now I watched Long Beach State at practice yesterday. In the first half hour, they did nothing but work on their, their positioning, their hands, their penetration over the net on blocking. It looks like it's paying off right now because they lead in blocks 9-0 to zero on Hawaii. That's amazing. Zero blocks for the home team. Gregory serves it. And Rosenberg, and that's an overpass that's hammered down by DeFalco. And once again, and you can see, you can see right here now, the confidence seeping away from Hawaii. Once again, that serve by Gregory, that hybrid serve, looks like it's going to be a floater and becomes a spinner. Very difficult to pass. Gregory serving again. Hawaii hits it down, Mo. Ball right there, able to figure out the defense and get it down, stopping the onslaught. 14-9, Hawaii serving. Serving is Zakovic. Service error. 15. Let's check out the first Hawaiian Bank top three. MPSF points per set, kills, blocks, 
and aces. DeFalco is first. Ben Patch of BYU is second. Siki Zarkovich of Hawaii is third. Kills plus blocks plus aces. That's how much offensive production you're bringing to your team. Hawaii's trying to get some confidence back because they've been taking it. They've uh, really been in the path of some boomers by Long Beach State. Serving is Tui Minga. That ball comes over by us. Uh, ball went off Rosenmeyer. Tui Minga's got that lefty, that lefty serve that's sometimes a little bit tough to read. He one time in the international tournament won best server in the tournament. One of those uh, youth national team tournaments. Serving again, Kanaitake. And Rosenmeyer hits it right into the block of Ensign. And that's another point. And another block. Long Beach State with 10 blocks now to, ho to Hawaii's zero. Going into the serve again. It is 17 to 9 here in the second set. Kanetake. They finally go to uh, Rosemeyer, and Rosemeyer is able to go down the line. It took the, the middle is occupied right there by Mole, which gives Rosemeyer the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And rather than go cross court like he did the last time, he wisely brought it back down the line. Rosemeyer goes up and taps it down after an errant pass was causing all kinds of trouble for Long Beach State. Here's the net cam showing a nice tap down by Rosemar, picking up his second kill. Yeah. Serving his mole to Ininga. And that ball hit over by Ensing. Getting ready to come into the game is Dan Glamick. He was there at the end of the first set. And he takes his position in the front row, along with Yule and along with Ensing. Serving his DeFalco. 18-11. Glamick has found the bench a lot this year. Started every match last year. And has found himself on the bench. Now all of a sudden, uh, he's getting his chance again. That's another surface error as you look at Dan Glamick from Victor, New York. That ball comes over, and Hawaii confusion reigns in the back row. So that was Yule credited with that. And it's 19 to 12 here in the second set. And here in the second set, Long Beach State has made easy work of the home team. Serving as Yule. Block was up and waiting. And another point. Not a bad idea to go to the middle, but uh, set not quite high enough. So it's just that it seems Long Beach State seems to know exactly what Hawaii is going to do. They are up and waiting defensively. And offensively, they seem to know the Hawaii weaknesses. Look at, look at their hitting percentage. Long Beach hitting 463 for the match, Hawaii hitting 0-5-9. And for this current set, Long Beach State hitting 5-56, Hawaii hitting negative 53 more errors and then kills. That's not a good stat to have. No, not. Charlie Wade is not pleased with the way his team has performed tonight. They've had a week off to get ready for this match. And Long Beach State has come in here and they have, quite frankly, dominated. I have never seen a Hawaii team go this long without a block, have you? I, I can't remember. That's a good question. We've been doing this how long? 30 years? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's a, it's kind of unusual, but you got to give credit. Long Beach State, remember, you're going to get a lot of credit to Long Beach State. You know, they're hitting 332 in the year. So they do not make many hitting errors. They make it really tough on, on every defense they play. And... Uh, so they're, they're a tough team to block. They slide out at a very high percentage. 
first first set they signed out at 84 percent which is monstrous most teams that are that win a set in the uh mpsf side out at about 70 percent so Long Beach State doing some pretty extraordinary things offensively. Here's the thing I'd like to explore, if we can, and that is Hawaii and BYU, they play doubles. They play double-doubles. They play two games against the opponents coming in. Real quick, that, the, the guy we just saw right there is Stein Van Tilburg, um, coach over in the Netherlands, and he was the 1988 Olympic gold medalist. Actually, he was 92 gold, and he was 88 silver. Does he smile? And he, and he was. He Does he smile? Play. No, he doesn't. <laughs> that ball is hit long. Another point for Long Beach State. Charlie Wade said that this guy right here is known as volleyball royalty. In his day, he was known as arguably the best player hey, there's a smile. in the world. <laughs> Maybe he saw himself on TV. Maybe. Seven is yield. Ball is hit over by Rosenmark. Anyway, Swerver was, uh, was here in Hawaii for 10 days. He was Stein Van Tilburg club coach for four years. He decided, you know, I'm going to go to Hawaii and watch my protege play. So he's here for this, these two matches and BYU next week. Rosenmeyer to serve for Hawaii. Kuininga. And that ball hit over by Gregory. Simple. Hit the ball right by the defense that time. The defense, mainly Ian McKellar. 22 to 13. It has been one-sided here in the second set. Eric Ensing to serve. And they talk it lifts it high, chase down. Franciscovich gets it across. And Tui Bigan. And with a little tip shot, the one hand left hander. 23 to 13, double digit lead. Biggest lead of this second game. And it comes at a very inopportune time. Serving is Eric Ensing, the brother of Kyle Ensing. The ball in the air by Eric Ensing. Gets it over. Kanetake. Ball is hit over. Sato is there. Tuininga. The ball off the double block. Good save by McKellar. Ball is hit by hit by Zakovich. And it goes out. A point for Hawaii. Hawaii trying to finish this second set strong. They may not win it, but they want to finish playing some good volleyball. And that was some good volleyball. As said by Franziskovic, great swing by Siki. Ian McKellar to serve for Hawaii. Tuininga sets up. Boy, what a hit by DeFalco. DeFalco emerged from that back row like an assassin. Did I tell you he's got a whip of an arm? He does. It is. He just delivers one rocket after another. In high school, Huntington Beach High School, they did some pretty legendary things, and he was he was uh, he was part of a 104 match win streak to finish his career. 104. And at the same high school, Tuininga was there only for two years. He was only 80 and 0 his last two years. Call this hit over, and did it go down? It did. Sato unable to get there in time. Also, Davis Cannon has come onto the floor. And now Tuininga comes in to take his place. It is 24 to 15. It is set point in set number two. Long Beach State leads in this match by a score of uh, one set to none. And that could change almost instantly. A little push at that time by Gregory. Ball comes back, and a point for Hawaii. Good save by Kamitake. What a scramble play by Hawaii. Not giving up despite being down by 10. Kamitake with this incredible pop-up right there with his left hand, laying out his phone. And Siki finishing with a little tap down. Franciscovich serving. Back up by Sato, waiting to Ninga, sets it up. Ball is hit over by Ensign. That's Kyle Ensign, and the ball goes out. Twenty-four seventeen. 
Point for, down in this second set. For a team that sides out at 80%, I don't think they're too worried about getting one more point. Serving so, again is Franciscovic, Toy Minga. And there, again, is DeFalco. And there is that arm. And that ball just, I mean, that ball is up near the speed of sound. It really is. 25-17, two sets to none, Long Beach State. Welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at the McDonald's match stats. Well, the biggest one that jumps right out is the Long Beach State hitting percentage. You know, 300 is a good percentage. And on the year, they're hitting about 332. So to hit 458 is just monstrous. Hawaii only 103. And look at the blocks, 10 to 0. That kind of disparity we haven't seen in a long time. Hawaii with no blocks and Long Beach State really dominating at the net. And I agree with what Lisa Strand said about uh, about passing Hawaii. just got to start passing the ball better. And credit Long Beach State serves. They're serving quite well. Uh, so give them part of the credit. But Hawaii, unless they start passing the ball up to that and giving Jennings Franciscovich a chance to set his offense, they're not going to do much damage to Long Beach State. Is there enough bench strength for Hawaii to hang in there to make a difference? Yeah, they do. Charlie's got buttons he can push. Uh, he's got several players. There's one right there. I know if Frank, he can bring him in the middle. It looks like he is going to put him in. Looks like he's going to leave Brett Rosenmeyer in. And actually, he's going to put in another player. Looks like he's going to put in... Number 11, Dalton Solbrin. So, and also Mamani Namahoy at Libero. It's like almost wholesale changes. It is. And Brandon Healy as well. Brandon Healy comes in. The only one that's staying in. You know what we're looking at? They've got is a new center as well. Worsley's in as well. We're looking at a team transplant. It is. It, it is. is. Absolutely. <laughs> So the head coach, Charlie Wade, not satisfied with any of his usual starters. I'll tell you one of the things is that when you put this kind of a transplant in, I'm pretty sure Long Beach State did not look at videos on all these guys because there's not much video to watch. So maybe that alone will, will fool Alan Knight. Who knows? Now at the last uh, minute, Kanetake comes back in as the libero. I think what's going to happen, Kanetake is going to receive serve, and I think on defense, we can be seeing um, Namahoy come in on defense in big ball. But Worsley's uh, taking the place of Franciscovich. Gregory for Long Beach State. Just waiting to start the third set. Hawaii has been pushed back into that deep, dark corner we talk about that uh, they've got to win three in a row. I'll tell you the one good thing about, about this position of being down 0-2, Long Beach State, one of their two losses this year, came to UCLA at Public Pavilion when they were leading 2-0 on the Bruins and lost the next three sets back to back to back, 15-13 in the fifth. They've lost only two games all year, or two matches all year. That one was to UCLA and the other to BYU. Gregory, he just waited too long. He could have caught a plus in that corner. But when they finally gave him the ball, all of his, all of his radar was off. Rosenmeyer to serve for Hawaii. Save there by Worsley. Ball is hit by Van Tilburg. And that comes off the block and out. That's a point for Hawaii. And they, and they lead it two to nothing. That's a pretty savvy play. Finally, somebody touched the ball that Bryce Yule attacked. He's been pretty unstoppable tonight. Rosenmeyer serves up against Sato to Ininga. The ball is hit over and goes off of the Hawaii block. Trying to save it is Kamitaki. Couldn't get there in time. And that's the first point for Long Beach State here in the set number three. Yeah. 
Victory Ninga. Kanetake, Worsley. And trying to get the ball over was Rosenmeyer, but it was plucked in the middle. And a good block that time by you. Jim Bryce Yule up there. Just so solid. 6-4, gets up high. Great hand movement, good eyes. Just knows the court, anticipates well. 11th block now for the beach. Greninga puts it into the net. But they're hovering around double digits as far as uh, service errors are concerned, putting the ball in the net. Long Beach now with 12 service errors. Nainoa. Nainoa Frank with the serve. That ball comes over and goes out. Hawaii trying to get to it, couldn't. Serving is DeFalco, Wellesley. And that ball hit over by Van Tilburg. So another point for Hawaii. As Hawaii leads it 4 3 here in the third set. They are down two sets to none. And Van Tilburg picks up his ninth kill. Serving is Van Tilburg. Sato with a good save. To Ininga. And that ball is hit over and down by Hughes, or Hoos, I should say. Yeah, Hoos. I'm impressed the way he's transplanted, trans, transposed from a libero last year to a pretty terrific outside hitter this year. Great passer. Serving is Yule. Ball hit by Ben, hit by uh, Ben Tilburg, but right there was Gregory. Gregory was there on the double block. Gregory and Hoos. Lead change, that's the first one here in the third set. Serving the Jewel, chased down by Worsley. Ball is put over by Rosenmeyer. That's off the block. Good save by Van Tilburg. Worsley turns and puts the ball down. That's hard to do. Joe Worsley, what a move. Only six feet tall. A little undersized for a setter in this league. But he goes up with the big boys there and taps that one down. A lot like James Shaw does for Stanford. Just turn around and tap it down with two hands. A little, a little unorthodox, but it works. Tied at five. Serving is Healy. Wesley again. Good court vision that time. One-handed surprise. Little dumper. This is definitely, you know, with this new group in here, they're definitely doing some different things that Long Beach State hasn't quite adjusted to yet. Healy serves again. The ball dug up by Hoos. Tui Ninga goes cross court. And then it's saved by Wolfley. Then Ben Tilburg, but Ben Tilburg was there. And now what do they say? The ball went off the block and went out. Dude, that was a close call. Here we go, here we go. Dude, Alan Mike even is asking, are you sure that was out? So Hawaii now leads 7 to 5 with Brand Spanky new team. And at least most of them. Serving again is Healy. That ball is blocked right in the middle. Blocked by Dalton Sober. Dalton Sober. What a block. 6'6", little blocker, freshman from Leidenhurst, Illinois. Not sure he thought he was even going to get in the game tonight. Four straight points for Hawaii, and then putting the ball into the net was Healy. So Hawaii leads here, 8-6 in the third. They are down two sets to nine. It's a gutsy change by uh, Charlie Wade. Serving will be Kyle Enzing. Gets it across. Chasing it down, Worldsley. 
outside, and then the block, the double block is right there. Hawaii has tried that almost all match long and without success. Rosenmeyer unable to get the ball down. When the pass is off the net, Worsley can only set to the outside there. The block can really get set up and established. Tui I think, led the way on that one. So it's Taylor Gregory, not a bad backup. Penzing serves again. Waiting as well as Lee goes outside. That ball is hit off the block. Sato is there trying to save. Couldn't do it. They're going to give the point to Hawaii. The whole difference at that point, Jim, was the fact that Hawaii passed the ball up to the net. And they largely uh, faked like he was going to set the middle. So he took a blocker with him and then set to the outside, leaving a one on one situation on the outside. It all starts with the first contact. Serving so, I mean, the Solbrick. That ball hit down, big hit there by Goose. Kamitake comes back into the back row. Two, That's the libero. Two times Goose has been the most valuable player in the Nordic Championships. Four years on the junior national team and youth national team. Coming out of the back row that time was Healy. But the block was there in Gregory. You can conquer Gregory. You can conquer anything. And the block was not full there at all. The set there should have been in 9 -0 Frank. Who's serving again? Pushing the ball over. That's advantage for Long Beach State. They take advantage. DeFalco. The Falco's almost like chagrined that they would actually put in Scrabinis to face us in the third set. It's like they're angry at that. But the Scrabinis were doing pretty good. That ball hit over. Now Tilbert, who is not a Scrabini, by the way, gets it down. He's putting on a pretty good show for his old coach, Ron Ferber. If I had a coach like that, I'd be scared to death. Yeah. Charlie was actually told me yesterday, he was a little worried. Is the coach coming to town a good thing or a bad thing? They might fire him up or else might make him too nervous. But right now, Don Tilbert, 11 kills, hitting 381. I know a Frank unable to make that ball behave. That ball escaped the court. So it is 11 10. Long Beach State forges into the lead here in the third set, trying for the sweep. And Gregory is back, ready to serve. Wilsley outside and Dan Tilbert. Perfect pass, perfect set. And a perfect point. Got to be very satisfying to the coach. In case you missed him earlier, there's Ron Sverber, Dan Tilberg's junior coach in the Netherlands. An all world player in 88 92. Yule. Gets the ball down following the point you served by Rosenmeyer. Wow, that's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Great Ooh. timing, great set between Inga. Ray Shule, such a quick arm and a quick jump. That ball is hit down, but a good save in the back row that time by Hoos. Worldsley, Van Tilburg. That ball is saved by Pui Ninga, but he had too much on it. And the ball is able to fly off the court, and we are tied at 12. Joe Worsley, again, making some interesting setting choices. I think it's throwing off Long Beach State a little. He's setting the ball from off the net to the middle a little bit, and uh, he knows how to find Stein Van Tilburg when he has to, because Stein's got the pretty hot hand right now. 12, 13 kills, hitting 435. I know Frank to serve. Tied at 12 in the third. Boy, he's trying to get out of the doldrums. That ball hit over. Good elbow save that time by Worsley. Down the middle comes Rosenmeyer, but he hits that one long. 13 12, Long Beach State. Joe Worsley making some pretty good digs in the back row, getting some touches off the block. See Charlie Wade talking to Nainoa Frank. 
DeFalco serving. Gets it across, and that's an ace. That really came across and died in front of an advancing Rosenmeyer. What a great serve. He leads the team in aces with 21. And that there is his first ace tonight. So now he's got 22. DeFalco serving again. Boy, what a play by Worsley. Worsley, his balance was gone. He was falling backward. He has enough on it to go cross court. And the ball is put down by Healy. Winnico Worsley's last set, the cool play of the night here. As he backs up, falls into the stanchion. Luckily, it was Pat. He bounces back up to celebrate the kill. Serving is Van Tilburg, between Ninga back set. Why he tried to hit it again. And Tilburg to Ininga. Ball hit down off the block, saved by Kamitani. The ball hit down, and again, Kamitaki was there. Hit over off the block that time, diving dig, Sato saves, comes back near the net. The ball is pushed over that time, and the block is conquered. on the part of both teams. Excellent play. Best but away rally. wins it. Best rally of the night. You should have seen the bench go crazy. All the guys are, the starters there, really getting excited and happy for the guys who don't get to play very much. Smiles all around. And we are tied at 14. Hoos <laughs> hits it into the block and then it goes into the antenna. You know who is on that block? Wolseley! OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Straub. And Hawaii Honda Dealers. Joe Worsley. What a terrific, what a terrific performance. I mean, he's been all over the place. He's played in different roles. He is the team leader, no doubt. He's the center. In the Fab 50 in his credentials, two national junior championship gold medals, USA youth national team. 15-14, Hawaii leading to Ininga with the set. Ball hit over. That time by Ensing. Ball comes back. That's off and down. And that is a block. And Hawaii able to get another point. 16-14. Carlton Solbrick. I believe he's the guy with the highest GPA on the team as well. Smart hit. On Tilburg to serve. Gets it in. That ball is hit wide by Ewell. Another point for Hawaii. They lead it 17 to 14. Timeout has been called. Timeout has been called. Hawaii has scored five points in a row. We're in the third set. Hawaii leading 17 to 14. A team made up of bench players for the third set after dropping the first two sets to Long Beach State. Hawaii is still in that deep hole. But it's interesting, tis it not, 17 to 14. The Scrabini's leading. And Tilburg serves. Tuininga, short set, and there is DeFalco. When in doubt, when in doubt, DeFalco has that alarm bell, and all you have to do is push the button. Now he gets up so high. Such a strong arm. Internationally experienced. Serving is Yule in the air, chase down. Worsley, that ball is double blocked back. Worsley again! Worsley is unafraid. He is unafraid. The nerve! Double block, triple block, the nerve! He's six feet. He's not supposed to go up and do that. What's he doing? He's not like a left handed 6'4. 
ripping center. He's a six-footer. Amazing. It's an amazing story. It really is. It really is. Regardless of how this turns out, this is amazing. Keely serving. The ball is hit in the air, saved by Gregory Tuininga. And there is uh, Kanetake. Ball's hit. Well, just didn't make contact. It did. That is a point on that hit by Van Tilburg. It is now 19 to 15. Hawaii leading. Van Tilburg on this shot right here. Set a little bit low, but he got there with his feet. 14th kill, hitting 440. Into the net by Healy. Point for Long Beach State. And it is 19-16. He missed, Brandon Healy missed that sort of pretty badly, but you know what? He was going for it. These guys are playing with abandon right now. What has robbed the spotlight here is the smallest player on the floor. The shortest player on the floor. <laughs> Worsley, that ball comes over, Worsley waits, goes outside, ball is hit down the line, that's a point. Off the hands of Rosenmeyer. Rosenmeyer, two-time player of the year in Virginia. They call him Rosie, Fab 50, number three USA recruit in 2015. And Hawaii is at the 20-point plateau. This was unexpected. This was unexpected. I mean, it could have been Hawaii just caving in. But that has not been the case. Serving is Namahor. Puts it into the net. <laughs> 20 to 17 here in the third set. I mean, the coaches are giving encouragement, hugging players coming off the court. And Charlie Wade's probably saying something like, remember, when the guy in front of you serves out, you better get yours in. Big hit that time. And again, the set was right there. Okay, now, Nainoa Frank has only played 11 sets this year. I doubt if Long Beach State watched a whole lot of film on him, but look at him get out early and high and see that block by Gregory and cut it back across his body. Smart play. 20 to 17, serving is Worsley. Duininga, and there is DeFalco, and that got inside the line. So it's 21 to 18. Hawaii leads by three in the third. TJ DeFalco, the real deal out of Huntington Beach. Well, you saw that, that, how that arm goes all the way back to the middle. His elbow's always almost in the middle of his back. And he still gets velocity on it. Davis Cannon, gotta love that last name, Cannon. Cannon serving, ball comes over. Outside, little push, and it's a net violation for Hawaii. And on the way up, and I know Frank tucking it on his way up. Watch for Charlie Wade to call timeout here. So it's 21 to 19 as Long Beach State trying to pull off the sweep. And they get a little cozy with uh, Hawaii. We said that Hawaii came in, is, it's, it's the players who usually you do not see. It's the players who warm up in between sets. That's right. It's, it's, it's the players, just, they're there in the beginning. When they come out of the locker room, they go through all of the pregame, but then they sit down and they cheer from far away. I wonder if Ryan knows anything about this. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Well, the Hawaii sidelines certainly manufacturing a lot of emotion. Hawaii all of a sudden has life with this B team. Another player that has really stepped up his game, Stein Von Tilburg. During the timeouts, Von Tilburg is the one who's talking to some of his new teammates on the court right now, talking to them about what to expect, really leading the charge, the freshman taking control. On the Long Beach sideline, the coaching staff just trying to figure out how to stop this Hawaii offense saying uh, they got to get their hands low and tight over the net. They think that Hawaii's attackers are using their block. Back to you guys. Okay. You know, you have the, the, uh, Van Tilburg is playing in front of his coach. And his coach is, I mean, you look at his face and you say, whoa, I better do good. Because, <laughs> because if Hawaii loses or if he does bad, I wonder what's going to happen in the middle of the night. There Maybe wind sprints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think uh, Ron Sperber would uh, make Van Tilburg do wind sprints, but you know what? Uh, they do have a great relationship, the two of them. 
And uh, Sperber is such an inspiration. Obviously, he's provided some inspiration tonight, flying halfway across the world to watch his little protege play. Uh, volleyball royalty, as Charlie Wade would describe him. He was a, a gold medalist, actually, in 92 in Barcelona and a silver medalist in 88 in Seoul, Korea. Uh, legendary in the Netherlands. Oh, he is. Legendary. But look at that smile, huh? I think he likes what he sees. And Van Tilburg. 19 serving 21. Serving is Gregory. One-handed set. The ball is hit and just out. Now one one lineman says it was in. But the official, the up official, Donna Hess says, no, no, no. I made the call. That was a big point after the timeout. The only way it is. Uh, one more timeout left if Long Beach State makes another run. Long Beach State also has one timeout left, but I said I said the ball was out and the, the, the official would say no, the ball was in for Hawaii. So I stand corrected. There he is. DeFalco. And DeFalco hits it just inside the back line. The right blocker. She's trying a little bit too hard there to stop TJ DeFalco. They're up there climbing on the net. Twenty-two twenty in favor of Hawaii in the third set. Between Linda to serve. Kanitake. Ball is blocked back. Hit over. Good uh, save by Sato. And then the great block by Van Silver. And also Frank. It's 23 to 20. There's the cutback shot in the middle, but Sato made a great side diving save. And there's Van Tilburg turning the Falco down for Hawaii's second block of the night, Long Beach State, with 14. Solberg, Solberg comes in to the middle. Serving is Cole just into the game. And that ball is hit off of uh, Rosenmeyer in the back row. It's 23 to 21. You know, this is amazing because it could have backfired in, in Charlie's face. It didn't. It blossomed. And it blossomed against the number one team in the country. That's right. More new faces. Colin Powell from uh, Team Kekalike came in, put on a good serve right there. Now he's got it on the bench. Serving DeFalco. Worsley. And that ball is hit down. Worsley with a great step. And right there was Healy to put it away. It's set point. Set point. Can you believe this? And Jennings Franciscovich will now come in via blocking sub for Joe Worsley. Long Beach State is surprised. I mean, they're beside themselves. What has just happened? Or may happen? And Tilburg serves it. Long. I mean, all kinds of things can happen. This is one of the great experiences, though. You put in the guys that don't play, and they end up playing. 22. Serving 24. Ball is popped in the air. Worsley. Ball hit by Van Tilburg. That is it. They win. 25-22. Bobby State walks off the court name. Who were those guys? Well, one of the great romantic things happen. People who don't play get a chance to play, and they do extremely well. Joe Worsley. Really did the job. He was everywhere. He was every. Took one from the back court, double-handed it over there. <laughs> hit one into the back row. I mean, he he just felt it. Yeah, he, he's setting the ball from off the net, which is which I don't think Long Beach State is expecting. Uh, Worsley comes up with 13 assists. Uh, just a trim. I mean, like you said, he's feeling it right now, and he's he's just in a rhythm, and he's got all his. Teammates excited. 
And uh, boy, hats off to Charlie Wade for having Charlie the guts to Wade. start brand boy, new. Yeah, that's gutsy. That's brand new, gutsy. Brand new players. That was pretty amazing. Because when they first walked out there, we thought, ah, oh, they, they've conceded. You know, they've conceded. Ah, oh, they'll let them play it through. They're conceded. They turned out to be, hey, it's our chance. It's yeah. our chance. And we'll see if they, we'll see if they can sustain it. That's the big test right now. But clearly, they've won over this crowd. This gymnasium all of a sudden got louder and louder the more Hawaii started to approach the 25th point. So two sets to one now. Long Beach State leads. They will not sweep. The other, the other story is Stein Van Tilburg, 15 kills and three errors, hitting 444. And Hawaii as a team in that set hit 343 to Long Beach's 222. First time Hawaii's out hit Long Beach, which is the, the number one hitting team in the country. And Hawaii outside it out with them. Hawaii outside it out at 69%. Long Beach State at 65. So a big turnaround in pretty much every phase of the game. Hawaii yes, sir, yes, got two blocks as well. Yes, it serves here in the fourth set. Joe Worsley. Forced the bad pass. Hacked in the air by Sato. Ball comes over. And there saving it was Rosenmeyer. Ball is hit over by Van Tilburg. To Ininga. That was a miss hit, but boy, what a recovery. And there's the big hit. Ball goes down by Nainoa Frank. Nainoa Frank out of Cullahale High School. Older brother Kelly used to play for the Rainbow Warriors. And what a swing that was. So it got up so quickly. The great Taylor Gregory couldn't get to that one. Worsley serves again. To a Minga goes outside. That ball is hit over and saved by Kanetake. And that ball goes into the block. Went off that time. Went off of Frank. And that's a point. So you have to. Uh, Credit DeFalco. I can sure see why TJ DeFalco was picked to play on the World League roster this past summer and play in the Pan Am games and why his team won 140 straight. Gregory puts that into the net. Rosenmeyer goes back to serve for Hawaii. Hawaii leads 2-1 in the four. They trail 2-1 in the match. Back up by Sato, Toininga. Outside, just a little touch comes over. Hawaii with a chance here. And a miss hit that time by Healy. Two-two. Toininga will go back to serve. The element of surprise was there in the last set. Will it be there this set? I don't think so. You're looking at the number one team in the nation, and they don't want to be embarrassed like this. That ball, however, is down by Frank against the double block. No problem. Hawaii oh, leads 3 2. Now you've probably seen this a lot in baseball the element of surprise when a, a new young pitcher comes in and they have a great start of the year, and then they don't do as well later. Tui Minga sets up Falco. That goes off the block. Healy was there. DJ DeFalco, the real deal. They call him the thoroughbred. He and Micah Ma are clearly the best freshmen in the country. Tied at three in the fourth. DeFalco to serve. Into the net. So Van, Van Tilburg will go back to serve. The Falcons wrapped up his numbers now. 14 kills hitting 393. Really a strong move the last two sets. Van Tilburg serves. Domingo with a short set. And then right there was Yule. But wait a minute. A rare error from Yule. He hit it wide. Hit it wide. Yes. Only his second error of the night. And he was celebrating. Walking away. Tilburg gets it into the net. 
Hawaii leads 5-4 in the four. Hawaii's 13th the service error. Long Beach State has 15 service errors. And I thought rally scoring would eliminate some of these service errors, but not to me. The team's still going for it. Yule's serving. That ball is hit over. And pushed into the pushed into the backcourt that time by Hoos. So we are tied at five. That was a tight set from between Inga and Hoos does a nice job just keeping the ball alive, keeping it in play. Tilburg, they were waiting for him. Double block was up. I think he was trying to go with the small blocker, John Hoos. But Hoos is proving to be quite the blocker tonight. He's been in on a lot of blocks. That's his third one he's been in on. Ball dug up by Rosenmeyer. Get over by Healy. Kanetake. And that was out. That went, that went on the outside of the antenna. The ball was absolutely mishit that time. Rare by Ensing. Yeah, yeah, the, the freshman who stole the job away from John LaRouche, who's going to starter for three years and he's got that opposite position pretty wired. Healy serving. Ball comes over Hawaii with the advantage here. Ball is hit over by Tilburg. Boy, you're going to lie top one across. Hawaii has uh, the verb and the energy and the excitement to just try something like that and it works. Healy to serve for Hawaii. 7-6 into the net. We are tied at seven. Another service error. Here's the deal. If you, if you serve too softly just to get it in to reduce your hitting your service errors, you take the risk of the, the second best offense in the country just ramming one down your throat. So, boy, he's got to take some chances from behind that service line. Hensing right into the middle of the net. That's an epidemic now. They're at epidemic proportions in service errors. Now they're, they're trading errors, that's for sure. Solbrick will serve. Waiting. Koeninga short set. The block was up, but the ball came off the block and got to the floor. And Taylor Gregory picks up his fifth kill. He just doesn't make many mistakes. He sees the block taking his angle, so he just cuts it back across his body. A ball dug up by Rosenmeyer. They go cross court into the corner to get it across. Advantage now. Long Beach State. The ball is hit by Gregory, and that ball was blocked. Blocked and lead by Nainoa Frank. Yes. A rare error for Mr. Gregory. Nine eight Hawaii leading. Serving is Worsley. That ball goes off the block after a hit by DeFalco. So we are tied at nine here in the fourth set. Hawaii had a team transplant, or a near team transplant, maybe five out of six. Charlie Way took a chance. It paid off handsomely in the third set. The ball was a bad pass. That was hit by the by uh, DeFalco, but he hit it long. Boy, he dodged the bullet there, that's for sure. DeFalco doesn't miss many of those guineas. There you see Coach Knight, former Olympic coach. Rosenmeyer serving. That ball is blocked. Good double block, but it goes out. Boy, they are just booming. 
The Falco was there. And we are tied at 10. Josh Twininga will go back and he will serve. We're in the fourth. Long Beach State leads 2 1. Wallace dug up. And he's tackled. A battle at the net. Getting it over was Healy. That's off the triple block, but right there is Kamitake. Ball is hit by Ben Gilbert, but it went off the block and down. Looks like Ben Gilbert got there a little bit too early. He only had a, great, a couple of great covers to keep that rally alive. That last one, though, looked like it was the timing and connection was off between Worsley and Ben Gilbert. Long Beach State now leads 11 to 10. We've had three lead changes here in the fourth set. Bruninga serving. Ball is pushed by Healy and then pushed back. Healy tries it again, goes off the block. That goes off Ensign. Better than Healy this time goes up and just rips as hard as he can. Gets a field goal out of it. Well, Kyle Ensign. We're tied at 11. We've had 10 ties here in this fourth Go, set. Serving for Hawaii is Cowell, Colton Cowell. That's just not. 12 11, Long Beach State. Here in the four. Colton Cowell out of Makawao, Maui. He's been a pretty good serving sub for Hawaii this year. Pretty steady at getting it in. That was rare that he missed it. Dalton Solberg in the game. And Tui Ninga gets it across. That ball is hit by Van Tilburg. Double block is there. But the ball went out. Off the double block. This is the biggest lead by Long Beach State here in the four. Almost on cue. Serving is DeFalco. That's an ace. Second that came time. over and died. The second time tonight he's pulled that change up. Pulled the trigger and just lobs it in. Great serve. Now I think he'll bring some heat. We'll see. Oh, yes. But that's why. So wait a minute. They're saying that's an ace. Boy, my perspective was way off. Let's take a look at DeFalco serving, and let's take a look at this ace. Is it in or is it out? It's yeah, in. Right on the line. You know, DeFalco came in leading this team in aces with 21. Tonight he's added three more of that, so now he's got 24 aces on the year. And he does it lots of different ways. We've seen him have two change-up aces tonight, and then one that's a, a normal spinner like that. So Long Beach State gave up. The third set to a bunch of players who usually sit on the bench. They don't want to go to five. It's an embarrassment. After all, they're the number one team in the nation. That goes off the tape and down. Another race. And it's 16 to 11. And so Long Beach State is reaching out and starting to take control of this fourth set to win the match. DeFalco again. That one off of Ensign. Point for Hawaii. Hawaii down by four. I'll tell you what made that play was Hawaii finally got a good pass up to the net where they could uh, run a play and have to take the middle blocker right there goes up. You see Yule go up, which leaves one on one. There's one in the noggin on Ensign. Tweeninga goes outside. The ball is hit over by Ensign. And there is Healy. Healy hits it into the double block. There was no wiggle room that time. 
Ensing was there, one of the double blockers. Colby Tanataki, one of the reasons why he's one of the best liberals in the country with plays like that. Pass the ball with one hand right on the money. Seven is Yuled. That ball is hit over. Ricochets. Ball is hit over by Ensing. Tilburg. And finally hitting it over is Rosenmeyer. And across was number nine, Dan Blamick, who's coming to the game. Blamick has appeared and then disappeared this whole match. Tuaninga, another great set to the outside. He's just good hands. 18 to 12. Inexorably, Long Beach State pulling away. Second time, another great. Nice pass, Tucker. Yeah, big pass. Good set that time by Worsley. So it's 18 to 13. Three Minka. Boy, look at that. The Falco appears airborne from the back row and nails it. 19 to 13. Lose the back row quick. Great set by Tuninga. Hawaii's blockers up in the air. Open net, which is like an open field day for TJ DeFalco. Picks up kill number 17. Serving is Eric Insing, the brother of Kyle, serving. Triple block and winning that battle is Rosenmeyer. How about the back club set by Worsley? This is down from downtown Kakaako. Watch this. Back front sets it all the way over and somehow or another against three blockers. And Brett Rosenmeyer finds a way to get a kill. 1914, Hawaii trying to trying to steal it here, but they got a long way to catch up. Get him up, get him up, get him up. I'm a Hawaii serving. Reninga short set that time. Gregory hits it over. Hawaii trying to return it. That ball is off the block. Waiting for it is Tui Ninga in the air. The ball is hit by Ensing and down. Went right down the line. Very little opposition. 20 to 14 in favor of Long Beach State. And they can see the finish line now. Long Beach State really cleaned up their offense here in the fourth set. Not nearly as many errors. Only three, in fact, hitting 350 back to their normal numbers. Blamick serving again. That ball hit over. And down. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So Colton Cowell credited with that. Boos comes into the game. He replaces Glamick for Long Beach State. Worsley will go back to serve. Back up by Sato. Quick set that time by Tui Minga for the Falco. But the Falco gets it right near the sound barrier, but it went out. Twenty to sixteen. Worsley. He's a fighter. Serving. We need the back set. Unsing. Diving dig by Worsley. Ball is hit over. There's Sato, Tuininga, Gregory, and Gregory will be credited with the kill. And Gregory hasn't gotten a lot of sets tonight. He's gotten a dozen, but uh, he's made the most of it. Six kills. And, and a rare two errors. I'm sure you should go back and look at the film and wonder, how did they make those two errors? I went 62 straight swings in the beginning of the year and didn't have one error. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. Here's Gregory to serve. Gregory very pensive before he lets the ball go. Love this serve. Wait. Oh, not that serve. It's yeah. normal one. It's a touch them all. <laughs> touch them all, sir. Oh, yeah. 
Sui Ninga comes back on the court as the center. And the libero, Sato, in the back row. 21-17. Rosenmeyer serving. Gets it in. Sato, Tui Ninga! Tui Ninga tries the dump shot, but hits the, the net. That was all caused by a great serve by Brent Rosenmeyer. Forced the overpass. Tui Ninga was just trying to dump it down. Followed through into the cable right there. Hawaii's picks up point number 18, and Alan Knight has seen enough. 21 to 18, Long Beach State. Let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank. Here's how it works. If you want to get your hitters a one-on-one -on -one situation, do this. Fake like you're going to hit it, and then side set it to your attacker. Jennings Francisco, it looks like he's going to attack the ball there, takes the blocker with him, giving Van Tilburg a one blocker on the outside, and that's how it works. Rosenmeyer to serve. 18 serving 21 here in the fourth set. Not good. Not good at this time of the match. It's 22 to 18 now in favor of Long Beach State. Long Beach State cannot, cannot, under any circumstance, let this go to five. They are the number one team in the nation. And when they lost the third set, that was embarrassing enough. They can't allow it to go to five. error another that's about 180 service errors i think in this match let's see Doing Ninga putting it that's 18 for long beach 16 for hawaii that's 34 altogether that's a lot of missed serves serving is frank that ball blocked that but out after the hit that time by ensing van tilburg got there but just didn't get his hands right and his hands pointing up rather than penetrating over the net. 23 to 19. To Falco to serve. Hawaii gets it over. Hensing hits it softly. Had some good spin to it and landed just inside the line. So it's now match point for Long Beach State. Hawaii will call a timeout. So, what did you think? What did you think of the ploy by Charlie Way? I thought it was pretty gutsy. Uh, I'm sure he consulted the staff as well. You can see uh, Milan Gokovic there. And, and Josh uh, Walker. You know, I'm sure they talked about it in between uh, at halftime or in after the second set. Um, but to pull the trigger on that and wholesale sub five out of the top seven guys, they left Konataki and left um, Van Tilburg, and all the other five guys came out. Now, the good news is that those five guys are used to playing together all the time. They're, at the B, they're on the B side of the court. So at least there wasn't a lot of confusion. They, they knew what the other guy was going to do all the time. But, so from that part, it wasn't that risky. But to have them play as well as they did, have them capture the crowd, have them stun... Long Beach State, the number one team in the country, for at least one set, have them thinking about it. That was, that was pretty amazing. It, it was inspiring, to say the least. There are people who will go home tonight with their tickets and put them in a glass jar <laughs> and not touch them until maybe, until maybe Hawaii wins a national championship or something like that. Because that was special. Was I, have, I have never seen anything like that. It was a little bit like Rudy. You know, there are like yeah. five Rudys out there that never get to play. Finally, they get their chance. And boy, did they make the best of the best of it. It, it, is mat, it is match point, and it is Mr. Falco, T.J. DeFalco, who will serve. As you look at Kanetake, another stellar performance tonight. For the match. Selected by Healy. That ball is hit over by Van Tilburg and in. Not yet. What a back set from Joe Worsley. Pretty darn good pass. 
by Healy that time of DeFalco's serve. DeFalco really ripped that one. Serving will be Tilburg. 20 serving 24. Tilburg serves it down the line. Tui Ninga with the short set. And DeFalco comes out of the back row, but Hawaii handles it. Ball is hit over. Tui Ninga again. Ensing. That's in. That's the match. It's over. So the number one team in the nation finally lives up to their reputation. And they win it in four. 25-20 in the fourth set. Bank of America presents the players of the match. As you look at the coach, Alan Knight. T.J. DeFalco, 17 kills, 7 blocks, 9 digs. Joe Worsley comes off the bench in the third. He delights the crowd. He plays with real fantastic, just give me the ball kind of philosophy. 4 kills, 20 assists. And five days. It was a pleasure to see him play like that. And it was a pleasure to see a thing that happened in the third that you never see. You, how you never see it? You're not supposed to see it. <laughs> it was entertaining, to say the least, and inspiring in some ways. And Long Beach State, again, put on an offensive show, hitting for the night, hitting 356. Yeah, they normally hit 332 on the year, so 20 points above their average on the road. Those are pretty good numbers. Well, we can always say, hey, Ina Iamai on the Kapuana. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> thanks for watching tonight, everybody. But first, let's go to Scotty. All right, thanks a lot, Jim. Well, Coach, the first two sets, pretty one-sided in favor of Long Beach State. Then you make a change. You basically bring out your B team. Not only are they competitive, but they want to set. Yeah, just trying to shake it up a little bit. You know, we obviously we're in a bit of a funk, and uh, you know, it's just not acceptable. The guys come out and play. Uh, I just didn't think we gave uh, you know the program, our fans, really the effort that we're looking for. So uh, uh, you know, give those other guys a lot of credit. Came in and battled, and uh, I don't even know if I call them the B team at this point. They're guys in this program that work hard every day, and I thought they came out and represented us well. Does that mean you still have some positions that might be up for grabs? Well, we're just competing every day. You know, I mean, that, like I said, that was. Uh, to me, just unacceptable in the level of effort. You know, it's one thing if the other team's playing well. Obviously, they're a good team. Uh, but I just didn't see the fire. I didn't see a sense of urgency. And I put some guys out there that I knew would give it to us. All right, you get the rematch on Friday, so you have a day off to work in the gym. Watching Long Beach State, it doesn't seem like they have a lot of uh, weaknesses. Well I, well, I think everybody's equally flawed. You know what I'm saying? They absolutely do. We just didn't expose them very often tonight. All right, Charlie, best of luck Friday. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, back over to you. Thank you, Scotty. Well, that'll do it for us. We'll say it again that um, the way this match really evolved, I think Charlie Wade was right. He didn't get the kind of expertise that he usually gets from the, the players that play all the time. But in the third set, I mean, I can't say that enough. These are the guys that warm up in between sets. <laughs> These are the guys that are usually targets for the big boys during practice. And yet they come out and they say, hey, we want to play too. We want a part of this. And I think the, the greatest thing that could be said tonight is the number one team in the nation, after losing the third set, looked through the netting and said, hey, who are these guys? <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. I'm looking forward to Friday because night number two is always closer than night number one. We'll see both coaches will watch the videos, and I sense that uh, both Coach Knight and Coach Wade will come up with game plans Friday night that will be that will uh, result in one heck of a match. Canoa will be here on Friday. Pleasure working with you again. It's been a while. It's been, it's been good fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Back to the corner.